Okay, um, hey everybody! What it do, what it do, we back! We are back, look, we're actually back, we're here. And we're gonna keep <laughs> coming back, okay? Um, so, this week, um, I won't even say this week anymore, because they may start coming more than just weekly, right? right so, right, anyway, right, right. today, um, we were going back and forth about, like, what we were gonna talk about. I think, um, it it was the end of the last episode that we kind of said we would talk about something but you had mentioned just now like you said security which i think like do you want to explain what you mean by that? <laughs> well yeah everybody wants to feel <clears throat> secure in their relationship mm -hmm. um you never want to feel like your partner don't necessarily have your back right or they won't as, do as, for you as, what you would for them. Exactly. I like to always say jump off the... Yeah, you like to get real dramatic. Like, <laughs> we dying. We gonna die. You no, dying for me? Die, you no, dying? No. You guys but, know that meme where it's like, uh, you, are you a ride or die? And it's like, where are we riding? Why do we have to die? Like, <laughs> where are we going? Like, I have hey, questions. If I'm willing to jump off the cliff for you, you better be willing to jump off the cliff for me. And that's sometimes, you know, in a relationship, you never going to feel like you would do more for your partner than your partner would do for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, they always say, like, I know growing up I would hear a lot, somebody in a relationship always likes someone more. Yeah, that's what it is. That's, what, that's like so common. Like, someone always likes someone more. I mean, because, like, it, it, that just, like, sounds, isn't that, like, natural? So, like, so it's natural. it was natural for me to like you more? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> God. Actually, I'm saying that if you think about it, us removed anything in any situation, mm -hmm. like it's that's it. It's not. I don't say it's natural, but it's like that's that's more than likely what is going to happen in a relationship. Now, what happens over time might be different, but mm -hmm. like so starting out, somebody always. I I think so. No, I, I, and I. I Maybe I, not. I Maybe both people that. are jumping in like, oh my god, I'm head over heels, but like... That was not... So... <laughs> that was so not stupid. our case. That was not uh, at least how I felt. Let me check the time because, you know, we, we don't know, okay? Because we may go over, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, oh, yeah, because it's not the same. Yeah. Right, right, right. But... Okay, so to his, to his little jab... Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's basically referring to so with us. I think it every time I don't look at me like that. Uh, I'm I'm waiting to hear what you're gonna so say. So I was gonna say that every time we talk about certain things, it's hard because it doesn't necessarily apply to the norm. Because what you like at first, I was gonna make reference to like let's say a girl's driving down the street, whatever. She looks cute, blah blah blah. A guy gets at her. Okay. He may be on it more. At that particular point in right. in the I don't know if I won't say relationship, right? But like, we met in high school. Okay. Um. I liked you. You you think that I didn't like you? If I explained the whole story to you guys, it would be. I think it everybody would be five would, episodes, but yeah, but most people would agree with me. I don't think so. The thing is, mm -hmm. the thing here's the thing. I don't know if well I, I, I what i was gonna say was it stop doing that like you're waiting for me to say something <laughs> okay baby so okay 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 and then rubbing me like you're like it's okay like no like what i'm basically I'm listening i'm tuned in okay so what i'm i i feel like i always really 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 liked you the thing mm. is in certain situations like i can't jump into your body and be like, oh, this is how much he likes me. I feel it. Like, I can only tell you how much I like you. And you can only tell me how much you like me. We can't. There's no measure of like. So that's what I meant by like. It's probably always going to feel like one person likes the per other person more than the other. Because I physically. You can show me things. And you can do things. And that's why I say when you're in a long. Like the longer term relationship. Right. There right. starts to be things right. that you can do to express your love right. or that you feel like are like oh you know this person i saw that you're willing to do x for me in your mind that yeah. equates to a level of love right 
which is probably how a lot of people function. Like, you oh, don't think I see you're. Re- no, no, that makes sense to me. Okay. Because okay, so like in our situation, mm-hmm. if there was something that I would maybe say not be not willing to do, you equated that with. Mm, I love you. It's just because I love you more than you love me, or like I mess with you. I was gonna say the f word, but like I mess with you more than you mess with me. Like I, I'm, because I'm more I down be. for this because I would be willing to do whatever right. it is, and you wouldn't. Right. Right. That's how because and that's which in your mind you would equate to like oh that means I, I love you more or well, I'm I down for you have, more. I didn't have any limitations to what I would do. It would be like I would do anything. Right. I, I'm totally no. So that I, makes perfect sense. I just felt like as if. But I think you should have felt the same way. I completely I understand what you're saying, but I also feel like, and I will say this: I, I don't even know if I've ever said this, but like you probably felt like that mm-hmm. before I did. Okay. So in your mind, you would say that you like liked me or loved me more at a particular point in time. I I understand that point of view. I don't think that same way. So mm-hmm. I, I that's not how I like processed it. Mm-hmm. But if that's how you think, then yes, the answer is yes. I just feel like, and not not only And you're that, right, it's your love things, shouldn't have limitations. Certain things, I just feel like, would be like, is instinctual a word? Mm-hmm. It's like instinctual. Yeah, like it's like it's it's not even no second you, guessing. I'm, I'm like, give you guys one good example. Is it a real life example? It's a real life example. This really happened. So I think it was your birthday at the bowling alley over downtown. I just told this story. Uh, Last week, so I, I think I tell the story a lot. Heard it. You know so why I tell the story a lot? Because that's the only one he references all the, the time. It, 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 it's, it's, it's not the only one, mm-hmm. but it's it's one that I feel like. Okay, so we downtown. Um, most of you guys, probably all of you guys, not all of you guys, but most of you guys are probably from LA where we're from. Downtown is a real gritty type of area, in especially certain in certain places, because now it's. Gentrified, I guess. So, we're downtown. It's after her birthday. She had a little bowling party. Um, so, we stop at a gas station downtown. I get out to pump the gas. It's her and one of her friends in the car. I get out to pump the gas. Now, you went inside to pay. I went inside to pay. Then I pumped the gas. Mm-hmm. So, as I'm pumping the gas, or maybe when I got done pumping the gas... I go to open the door. The door is locked. Now we're in a, a bad neighborhood, but you know it's well. The, the, like yeah, so it's downtown the, late was, at night. Here's the thing: I just told this story to someone too, and it was Stop funny. It. No, no, me, no, 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 let no. Let me explain my side of the no, story. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm about to back up what you're saying. Okay. You're trying to explain okay. how bad of a neighborhood it was. Yeah. The fact that I locked the door shows how bad of a neighborhood look, it was because look, I feel like look. I had to lock it just for you to even go inside and pack. Correct. Correct. So, which was the point that was thrown back in my face when I was explaining the story, and they were like, "Well, girl, if you felt like it was so dangerous that you had to lock the door just for him to walk twenty feet to go pay, you should." Why weren't you making sure when he came back? When I came back, I'm doing like this. Like what? What? How, how are you? You, just, you, you bad, locked man. me out. Not only I, I just felt like you locked the door to protect yourself, but but what, not but, but you did not even think to yourself. But when Jeremy comes back. I, I gotta make sure he, I unlock the door real quick so he can hurry up and get in. I'm pulling on the door and then she 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 unlocks it, of course. But I just felt like, what is going on here? Like, are you are do, are you seriously gonna lock the door, worry about yourself and your friend, and you're not worried about me? I just that just put me in a real tight. I, the feeling I had was just like like it was like oh, it just hurt my feelings. That's the best. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, because it's that was like, like seven years ago. It wasn't seven years ago. It was about six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it didn't matter. I would it doesn't never... matter. But what I'm saying is that the fact, like, clearly it hurts your feelings. Is I'm just trying to make yeah, the point. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying that it was so impactful to you that that's the example that you would still give till this day because that's the impact that it had on you. And I completely get it. Like, that was foul. I get it. It wasn't, and I never said it wasn't. In the moment, I was like, why are you so mad? Like, oh my God, I just opened the door. But 
it was like to your point what, what do we say security like feeling like you have my back no matter what yeah. like you're not like there's no question about it you're not i don't i don't feel like i would i would be willing to do anything for you but that's not going to be reciprocated right um because that's like an instinctual type of thing for me yeah. You're, it's, it was instinctual for you to lock the door to make sure nobody gets in when I walk away. But it wasn't instinctual for you to make sure that, you were that, safe the, when that, you that I was safe or that the, you could have unlocked the door for me or just watch. You know what I mean? It's just, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So. Let me tell you what, though. That door what? ain't never been locked. <laughs> ah! I'll be like, like, ready to go. Even if, I don't even know if I like this shit no more. I'm not going to. He's going to save my life if he can anyway. <laughs> It's so big though, guys. I mean, oh my god! It was like big. silent treatment, then it was like big, like yeah. it was like. But to that point, like, um, I think it's really interesting as you progress in a relationship. There's different things that come up. Um, as I was saying, there are certain things that come up just throughout the natural duration of like a relationship. And we were talking, we were sitting there talking, and we we're like, um. I don't even remember it was just literally like a bunch I feel like we we're talking about a bunch of different things and I feel like it was in the vein of this same conversation and it was you on some like what would you do for me like <laughs> jump out the window type shit um and you asked me would I co-sign for you nothing specific we weren't talking about buying anything it was literally just like a general question right she was like no yeah lip that was it, it was, it was, it was like and you no talk about you talk about instinctual <laughs> it was like that a, was like why would you, even, like, ask why would you even ask me that? <laughs> I want to say because my credit is trash at the moment. <laughs> I need help. I got the money. I just don't have the credit. But we, the thing is, I don't even think we were actually even talking about buying anything. I think you were just no. I would, yeah, you know like, what? Like posing yeah, it, right, and, like I said, right, on some "What would you do right, for me?" type right, stuff. You right. You right. So, cause yeah, we weren't we weren't Ooh, talking about buying anything, and my your feelings just hurt again. But to that one, I literally was like. I don't know. I don't see what the problem is. She didn't see nothing wrong. She was like, some people you're watching, you may also not see what the problem is. It, it, in your defense, though, we were pretty early. It, I know. In the relationship, but your no was like a like it, it was, was like a no. What it do you was mean? Like, Why? It, it was like a we could be here at this point. If I probably would have said nothing, she probably wouldn't be co-signing at this moment either. What? <laughs> you probably that's just. I don't you know, think so. We, you know, all and I know, I even, even at that honestly, point, honestly, if I had also, no, 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 no. I'm Did you even for say you, something? Baby. Did you? I don't even think you said anything in the moment about my reaction. I Did said, you? No, I can't remember. I, 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 I don't see myself not. No, you know what? I think that I let that build up on me. Yes, because it came out way later, and I was like, well, "What? That's an issue for you?" Like, yeah. and the, so in again. Throughout the duration of time, like, and honestly, like, we're married now. We that that situation has never even actually happened. It's never no. even, thank God, like, we've never needed each other for that because we do pretty well on our own. But it was, he said, he goes, so you, so you, you realize why or how I think that? No, we <laughs> not, <laughs> no, you can't. What I was gonna say, no, 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 but it's truth. real, it's real. But like, because this probably applies to a lot of people, she but she's taught like this. That's how I think as a young, if you're raised by a certain type of person, like an independent woman or a woman who's like, I got this, I run this, I, I'm bringing home the bacon, I'm doing this. I, I, you, not only, not only is it, and it's not like someone ever, maybe, even if they did, I, I think she probably did say it directly. No, but she, even, okay, we gotta say it now. We were driving in the car one day. This is when I realized where all of Jessica's, um, just my mentality Her and mentality. my outlook. We were driving in the car. We Every summer they have like these um, concerts at the Hollywood Bowl. And so her mom gets like tickets and we go to all these shows at the Hollywood Bowl. This is every summer. By the way, if you can go to Hollywood Bowl to some of these shows. Don't give away our secret. I'm just okay. kidding. It's, it's a, such a <laughs> nice place to go have fun, have a few drinks and listen to music. Good music. Anyway, we were on our way there. And her mom... I'm the only guy in the car, and it was, I think, maybe two of her cousins, and her mom said, you know, talking about something, Whatever she was like, and I always taught you girls to always have your own, and you ain't got to be doing nothing for no dude, and I mean, the light bulb said, ding! <laughs> Shout out to the cookie lady! Shout out to my mother-in-law, who is 
I mean, the words couldn't describe. But she fell on my boots. She taught these girls, you don't be co-signing, you, you do your own thing. Which is kind of a little suspect because it's like when you get in a relationship one day, you can't go into a, a relationship. With that with, same mentality. Exactly. But I think, to your point, and I, I, I don't think, that, I mean, this, I don't think this is just me. Listen, like, a lot of women were probably raised that way. Like, yeah. and, to, and again, to your point, like, it, it doesn't help when it becomes it's not just about me type of situation and also on top of everything i'm an only child so it's not even like i had a brother that i was that like, doesn't really mean anything because i was too till i was 16 so i kind of was by myself my whole life for the most part what do you mean you've been only child means means nothing no i'm <laughs> saying i'm saying like being a girl an only girl being raised by a woman like I'm going Who was to single. I got you. To got mimic you. her behaviors. Like right. I, right. she didn't there was no man around where she was just where I saw where it was like, Oh, I see what you do for him. Right. So maybe I will do that for my No, it was like we got this, we run you know what I mean? So that 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 brings like a whole nother topic I think that we could talk about too at some point, which is just like how I think we might have talked about this already too in some way, like how how your race actually affects how you are in a relationship. Yeah, oh, maybe, maybe. Um, but anyway, but that, that's that, an example. That was an example. Like the cosine example was something where, again, he was like, it was a measurement of love. Didn't feel in his mind. Didn't feel secure to didn't a certain feel extent. You know, but I think honestly, I mean, I hope that you do at this point because no, we're married. We're, but we're, we're I was, all this but stuff. I feel like we're, I feel like it took a very it long did. time. It did take a long time. Like on the back end of the nine years. It, yeah, it did. It took some years, but now you are A1, man. All the way A1, in. You know Damn. I mean? Damn for life. <laughs> but that's something that, you know, in relationships, hopefully we shed enough light on it for you guys to, if that's something you've never thought about in your relationship, mm -hmm. you always want your partner to feel secure, you know, and not just like... Um, and you want to feel secure. Yeah, you want to feel secure. Yeah, both of you guys want to, should both feel secure. And usually... I feel like it's especially with us guys, um, we take security as ain't no man going to touch your ass because I'm going to beat him up. Something like that. It's not always about that. Security can go a whole bunch of different ways. You know? So. I think that was. Anything you want to add to security? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Did, did you have a question? Um, somebody DM'd you? Uh, oh, somebody DM'd me. Yes, we said we are going to talk about this. We got, yes. like, we got like two minutes. Yes, so let me see. I think it was just... Actually, I remember it. But it was... Um, someone asked, how did we know... I wrote it in my notes. How did you both know that it was the one when you met? When you met? That so, we were the oh, one okay, for Okay, that we were the one for each other, basically. I knew she was the one for me back in the day. Okay, so we're winding to the beginning of the episode. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. But when I knew... That's a good question. It kind of goes with the episode because question. it's like you would equate like me being super, like you being super down, being like, oh, she's the one. Yeah. Jessica... It's hard to say. That, kind of, that question is kind of hard. I always have a certain type of feeling for this woman, so I don't... But the one, like, meaning, like... Off top, I, I'm, I'm not, going to I'm marry not, her. Yeah, this we is doing it. this for the rest of my life. Um, if I thought more about it, I'm pretty sure I could come to I know, everything. For me, is like to a moment or a point. Um, I think I. But it's more of a feeling. Yeah. It's more of a feeling that you could just wake up one day and and you could look at your significant other. I know for me, it, it was. I did have a point. I don't think anything happened um, like monumental that made me feel this type of way. I think it was like over time mm -hmm. and it's just like you, you sit back or you, you know you, you think about it and you say like, oh no, I want to I wanna do this forever. So I think that for me, I don't think it was a certain moment. I don't think it was a certain moment for me. But I think to your point, um, like how you said, how because even when we like, we're not joking, but we say, like, all we want to do is, like, we'll just be sitting around chilling and, like, watch TV and we'll look at each other and be like, this is, like, this is just what we want to do. Like, yeah, I just like, want to hang out with you. I just want to hang out with you. I don't want to do nothing So, else. maybe it was a moment like that where we might have been hanging and you yeah. might have been like, this is so cool. Yeah. Like, I actually, I like your company. Like, so, I feel like it's a mix. You're right. Maybe if 
this question would have been asked some years ago. We've been in it too long at this point to well, even still, remember. But you know, it's it's funny because when I think about it, there there's like multiple. I, I don't feel like there's a moment. I feel like there are things that add up and you're like, oh, this happened. Like, damn, he, you know, we he might be the one yeah. then you continue it and it's like okay i feel like that a little bit more strongly now and then that person starts to act a certain kind of way and reciprocate what you feel like makes sense mm -hmm. and it's just like okay mm -hmm. this is good and it starts to get better and then natural progression of things start to happen like hanging was... around family and coming to family functions and yeah. then it's like okay and then you just get deeper and deeper and then one day he gets drunk and proposes <laughs> and then he ends up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the proposal story is kind of funny too. Um, I'm telling you one day. Yeah. I don't remember too much of it, but yeah, I, I, could, I remember the you. night leading up to it. Mm -hmm. That's my, I, got a pun, I got my Punisher shirt on. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, but yeah. No, so I think I think there's... it. It's, it's so cliche and corny, but I feel like when you, it's just something that you just know. You just kind of feel it and you're like, this you know, is it. You know, you know. This is it. That was a good question, though. Yeah, it's tough. That was a hard one. Though. That was a tough one. Okay. But keep the questions coming, please. Um, like we said, if you have any topics you want us to talk about, because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, we've been through it. And if we haven't, we can still share some type of light, you know. Yeah. But... That's it. That was it. Meet the Easons. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe to the page so you will know when we're uploading new episodes to the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at Meet the Easons. Um, and like we said, just stay engaged. Let us know if you have questions, comments, concerns, things you want to see that we aren't doing. Mm -hmm. Like we're super open mm -hmm. to that kind of feedback. Just mm -hmm. like treat it like a comment box. So that's it.